The man accused of killing 11 people inside a Pittsburgh synagogue made his first court appearance. Robert Bowers went before a federal judge to face 29 charges. Federal prosecutors are saying that they plan to seek the death penalty. It comes as the Jewish community looks to heal after Saturday's violence. You're looking live now at a memorial service that's underway inside the Indianapolis Hebrew Congregation. While people share their grief and they pray for the victims and their families, there also is real concern about what is an uptick in hate crimes. Mary Mills now with some alarming numbers and the continuing push for a hate crime law here in Indiana. The fear is what happened in Pittsburgh could happen anywhere, even in central Indiana, where a Carmel synagogue was vandalized in August and the Jewish Community Center threatened by a rash of bomb scares two years ago. Evidence that backs up the statistics that anti-Semitic incidents are on the rise jumped 57 percent from 2016 to 2017. Rabbi Sandy Sasso, not surprised. There seem to be so many conspiracy theories and so much fear mongering that we have created a very divisive and hateful climate, sadly, in our country. Security is just sort of a way of life. David Scalar points to the entrance of the Jewish Community Relations Council. Put in a, a heavier door with, you know, protective glass and, and a lock system. With cameras in a buzzer to get in, which is hard. It's, it's really about finding that balance between how open we can be and, and also being secure. It seems to me it is time for Indiana to pass a hate crimes bill, way past time. Indiana is one of five states without a hate crime law, despite several attempts to pass one. Such laws allow stiffer penalties for crimes motivated by hate. Opponents, though, say that creates protected classes that treat victims differently and limit free speech. Scalar disagrees. You're free to have you know, hate-based thoughts or hatred in your heart, but you're not free to allow that hatred to become motivation for action. Um, and that's what we're trying to address. We're trying to address the action. There's a debate as to whether or not it uh, adding that extra penalty associated with group membership is meaningful. Either way, UND professor Mason Burns says it is symbolic. It does set a, a norm and a precedent that um, if you do commit a crime on the basis of group membership, we will penalize it more harshly, which again speaks to a society's values. And after the Carmel Synagogue was vandalized this last summer, Governor Holcomb did call on the legislature to pass a hate crime law. His office today told us that that remains a top priority. The same for many business uh, leaders in the community. For right now, though, inside uh, the Indianapolis Hebrew congregation, the focus remains on the 11 victims uh, gunned down in Pittsburgh on Saturday. And we are told there is an overflow crowd uh, in there tonight praying and coming together in solidarity, John and Ann. All right, Mary, thank you.